If you're watching this video on YouTube, remember if you have a question, comment, or suggestion for me, you can post it on 3D Game Man and the link is provided below. Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3DGameMan.com and welcome to another video review. Today I'm looking at two water coolers from NZXT, the Kraken X40 and the Kraken X60. And by the way, in case you're wondering where the name for these coolers came from, Kraken is supposedly some kind of legendary gigantic sea monster that causes these large whirlpools off the coast of Norway. So, you know, the name kind of makes sense. Now let me go ahead and unbox both of these. I'll first start with the the X40. As you can see the box is pretty and it has lots of features and specifications as well as pictures of the product on it and it comes with this plastic wrap on the outside. Now let me go ahead and open it up and see what's on the inside. Included is an installation manual, software, all the materials needed for installing the cooler on AMD and Intel sockets. Include a 40 millimeter fan and it's protected inside this cardboard and here is the CPU cooler and the radiator as well has this protective cardboard on it. It's packaged very well even comes with a bag around the tubes and the pump and they have this cap here, a plastic cap to protect the base. The X60 has a similar box, lots of features, specifications, and pictures of the product on it as well. This one is wrapped in plastic, but it also has a security seal on the top as well. Now let's see what's inside this one. And just to be accurate, they do also have a security seal on the bottom of the box. Included, very similar stuff here. We've got an installation manual, all the materials needed for installation, two 140 millimeter fans, and the complete unit. Again, the fans and the radiator have this cardboard over it, plastic bag, and the block at the end and pump is protected here with this plastic cap. And software is also included with the X60. Now these are known as ALCs or Advanced Liquid Coolers, also referred to as AIOs or all-in-one water coolers and they are completely sealed. So there's no maintenance required and this means no refills are required and thankfully there is pretty much zero risk of leaks. Now, since it's completely configured, there's no need for any extra installation like other liquid cooling kits. And by combining the water block, pump, and reservoir, as well as the radiator together, it reduces the traditional four component loop into one component. Of course, this substantially decreases the space required for installation, and it simplifies the installation process over traditional water cooling kits. On both coolers, the pump, water reservoir, cold plate, as well as the electronics are housed in one compact unit and the pump that's used is a state-of-the-art ultra quiet pump and it's covered along with the entire unit for two years. Also the pump cap has a cool integrated hue controlled LED. The CPU block on both is all copper and has an excellent finish so it will make fantastic contact between it and the CPU. The block also has a thin coat of thermal compound on it and this really takes the guesswork out of applying it yourself. The X40 has a 140 millimeter aluminum radiator, has lots of fan and it comes with a 140 millimeter 800 to 2000 RPM fan. And by the way, this fan has a braided cable and a four pin connection. The X60 has a larger 280 millimeter aluminum radiator, has lots of fins and comes with two 140 millimeter 800 to 2000 RPM fans. These fan leads are braided as well and also have a four pin connection. Note that you can install two additional optional 140 millimeter fans on the X60. That will be a total of four fans if you install two more. And also you can install another 140 millimeter fan on the X40 if you want to. Both of these coolers are designed 
designed with large tower cases in mind because they have 400 millimeter or 16 inch long tubes. The power leads are also braided. They have one three pin male fan connector two four pin female fan connectors and a USB connector. There's a similar setup on the X60 except they include two additional four pin female fan connectors. And remember you would connect the fans into here and then you would mount the fan to the radiator. They also include a serial ATA lead. Note that the coolant inside of both of these coolers is safe environmentally friendly and anti-corrosive. Now some mid-tower and most large tower cases will come with at least one 140 millimeter fan and of course that is where you would install the X40. Now if you have a larger area like for example a position to install two 140 millimeter fans you should be able to install the X60. But when you do install this unit, make sure that the fan or fans are moving warm air out of the case. The overall build quality on both of these coolers is fantastic. So you don't have to worry about leaks or tubes being cut or coming undone or anything like that. Now some of you might be wondering how loud this fan is at maximum speed because if you want maximum performance of course that is where you are going to have it. So have a listen. They include software with this and it is very intuitive. There's a dashboard area showing the information, graph, again more information, fan settings, light settings, and general settings. And you can do a quick adjustment from extreme to silent to custom. So you can see really what is going on and you can really tailor the cooler to what you are doing. If you're gaming, max it out. If you're not doing much of anything, well, just put it into a silent mode. So it's good to have the software to be able to customize the cooler. If you're somewhere between a really good CPU cooler and a traditional water cooling setup, this might be the solution. And for most people, I think it is, especially if you're an enthusiast and you're overclocking and you want you know, your CPU to perform really well, but you also want it to be quiet. And remember, you don't have to worry about leaks like you would have to in a traditional water cooling setup. And in comparison, this is a snap to install. Overall, both of these products are 100% kick-ass. Until next time, take care. I hope you enjoyed this video review and please note that pricing for this product is available on the 3D Game Man video review page.